Hello! This video demonstrates how to create a simple service catalog to provision a Red Hat Enterprise Linux virtual machine for a Red Hat OpenStack provider in Red Hat Cloud Forms 4.1. Using the catalog, the user can specify values such as the VM name, tenant, flavor, and network. Start by signing into the Cloud Forms web UI. Select the Automate tab from the left, and then select Customization from the Automate menu. Click to expand the Service Dialog section. With that section open, click the Configuration drop-down menu at the top and select to add a new dialog. This should open a form to create a new dialog. For this example, we will enter RHEL 7 as both the dialog label and the dialog description. This dialog should have both Submit and Cancel buttons. Check the boxes for those also. Next, click the plus sign drop-down menu at the top and select Add a new tab to this dialog. This new tab will appear under the RHEL 7 dialog. This tab is going to have basic fields required to provision an instance. So this example will use BASIC as the tab label and description. Click the plus sign drop-down menu again and select Add New Box to this tab. This new box is the section that will appear when a service catalog is ordered. For this example, we will enter SPEC for the label and SPECIFICATION for the description. Click the plus sign drop-down menu again and select Add a new element to this box. This new element will be a field within the spec box. For this example, we will enter VM name for the label, VM underscore name for the name, and VM name as the description. From the Type drop-down menu, select Text Box, because this is where we expect the user to enter the VM name. In the Options section that expands after choosing a text field, this example will use Change Me as the default value for the VM name text field. This should prompt the user to change the VM name while ordering the service catalog. Also, we will select String from the Value Type drop-down menu. These settings should be sufficient for the VM name field. Click the plus sign drop-down menu from the top again and select Add a new element to this box. For this element, we will set Flavor as the label instance underscore type as the name, and flavor as the description. This is also a text field, so select Text Box from the Type drop-down menu. In the Expanded Options sections for the new text box, enter m1.tiny as the default value, which is what we want the default OpenStack flavor to be. Also, as before, select String as the value type. Repeating the steps to add an element, add another text field labeled Tenant with cloud underscore tenant as the name. For its default value, enter admin to represent an instance visible by an OpenStack admin. As before, select string as the value type. Add one final text field labeled network with the name cloud underscore network. Set the default value to Change Me and select String as the value type. With these four elements configured for the Spec dialog box, we can now click Add at the bottom to proceed. All four of the new fields will be visible as soon as the dialog is added. Next, click the Services tab from the left and select Catalogs from the Services menu. From there, click to expand the Catalog Items section and select All Catalog Items. Click the Configuration drop-down menu at the top and select Add a new catalog item. From this Adding a new service catalog item page, select OpenStack as the catalog item type. For this example, we will enter RHEL 7 for the name and description of the new service catalog item. Let's also check Display and Catalog here. Select OpenStack as the catalog or keep it as unassigned. Then select RHEL 7 as the dialog. This is that same dialog that we just created. Note the paths we are providing here for the Provision Entry Point State Machine and Retirement Entry Point State Machine. As you can see, 
we can click through the structure to build these paths. Let's keep Reconfigure Entry Point as blank for now. Click over to the Details tab and add a description for the service catalog. This header will appear as a description before ordering the catalog. In the Request Info tab, under the Catalog Child tab, select the appropriate image from the OpenStack provider and enter a name for a new instance. This value will be replaced by the VM name field provided with the dialog we set up before. In that same set of child tabs, click the Environment tab and check Choose Automatically for the placement. In the Properties child tab, select m1.tiny as the instance type. As with the VM name, this value will be replaced by the value provided in the Flavor field for our new dialog. With all of these settings complete, Click Add at the bottom to add the new Service Catalog item. After it is added, expand the Service Catalog section and verify the new Service Catalog item appears in the list there. Here we see its name, REL7, as provided for this example. Also verify that when you select that item from the Service Catalog, the specification form appears as it was configured for this example dialog. Thank you for watching this video and look for more about CloudForms in Red Hat's documentation here at the Customer Portal.